What up YouTube, this is Theory Crafting Time, and today we are going over a theory in Guardian Tales of should weapon skills actually go into how you evaluate a Guardian. Let's go. Uh, so if we go into Bari Mayril, and we look at what Mayril does, it gives her a nice little passive, which is great, and then down here, Flower Bomb, 275 DPS, regen of 7.5 seconds. So let's go in and see what that actually looks like. So we'll take a neutral, Dummy here, we'll take the light one just because she's angelic. So we press the weapon skill and we're holding down the attack animation and it's charging up and it goes in. Okay, so we see right there, that's all we're gonna do. We did the full attack animation and then one attack. So that's good enough for this example. I will show you a freeze frame right here, guys. So here we have a recorded version of this that I did earlier when I was theory crafting. So let's see here. So we use this right at one and then goes through. We will stop the clock right when it hits green, right? So the image on the screen, you will see that it says 12.1 on the clock and Bari is doing her animation. 12.1 uh, is the closest that I could do it to the 10th of the second mark for the screen grab. But I assure you based off of, I've only, I've, this is still a theory, not a confirmed fact because I've only done this for a handful of champions, probably like seven or eight. And it seems to be almost exactly consistent. The only person that seems even slightly Slightly different is Tinia, and I think that has different factors that are involved in. But 12.1 plus 2.7 is 4.8. And honestly, like I said earlier, I think this animation started slightly earlier. So we will go ahead and round it up to all the way to 15. So the damage output that you did on Bari using the weapon skill did not actually affect the DPS output that you could have done if you actually kept auto attacking. And guys, I've seen this across multiple champions. I'll show you Nari's example as well. I'll show you the timing on that. And just because I brought it up two seconds earlier, I'll show you the screen example of Tinia. Tinia's effect is slightly off. It says 1.7 and you're getting it at around 1.3, 1.4 that you're able to start attacking again, which is if you were actually doing these calculations correctly, that cycling of the auto attack by the time it goes to the next cycle, that is the entirety of that animation. It's not exactly when it goes off and hits, it's when the next animation can begin is how you time these things. And that in itself is very, very, very close to 1.7. So my theory at the moment, which seems to be proven by the majority of the champions that I have tested, Tinia, as I said, has been the only example that I haven't found to be true. And I'm gonna be honest, I've already gone through each of these champions three times trying to get my sheet in order. I'm not gonna keep doing this. I am so burnt out of this stupid guild thing. So, which I did by hand. I originally grabbed somebody else's work and tried to work on it. And then I realized that I did not agree with the way that they were calculating the animation DPS uh, modifiers here. So I went back through and did everything by hand, but I kept a little bit of his formatting. So I've gone through and I've attacked with every single one or three and two star in the game uh, to figure out what their animation speed looks like, what the modifiers of those look like. So I can come through and calculate the true DPS of a unit. Yeah, we have. I have a couple more steps left to go, but it, overall it's looking kind of promising. So be on the lookout. This will be released as soon as I'm finished it. If you want to see more updates, you can visit my Patreon page. I think that you can largely ignore the actual weapon skill damage. If anything, it signifies how long the animation on the weapon is. So if you're going to use a weapon skill, it needs to be in a situation where someone like Bari, where you're using that to basically can maintain movement speed because you have these secondary effects that goes with it. You're putting them in an injured state and you're getting a different sort of animation. So that should be the criteria you use to determine how valuable a weapon skill is for the individual character. But you should not be going after a weapons, uh, a character and a weapon skill uh, because of the DPS output, because that's largely irrelevant to how you're calculating the actual DPS of a champion. And that's it for this theory crafting guide. Take care.